All right. So we're live and I apologize. It's going to be a little echoey in here. I'm in a different room today. Um, <clears throat> so we're here at Trinity Bazaar headquarters uh, with our online bazaar. Uh, if you haven't seen anything about our bazaar yet, we are doing it all online this year. We have an online store and an online silent auction. Uh, both are available from trinitynorthsituate.org slash bazaar, or you can go to the main homepage, Trinity North uh, and click on the bazaar uh, link and photo about halfway down the page. Um, <clears throat> today, we thought we would take a few minutes to go through all of the items that are in our silent auction. Um, and so I'm going to start with some of the physical items that we have. I went into the closet where we've been storing all the things, and I pulled all of the gift baskets and everything else out. And I'm going to show them to you one by one. Uh, hopefully we'll only take about a half an hour for this, not an hour and a half like our last live, um, so you don't have to stick around too long. Um, so, let's start. We don't have anybody on yet, but it is early in the afternoon, so I'm expecting people are going to want to watch this later. Uh, but this was the most convenient time for me to do it. Um, <clears throat> so first we have here, uh, this is from uh, Dave's Marketplace, which is um, a local... Uh, a local grocery store in Rhode Island. They have several locations, probably six plus. Um, and if you don't know, Dave's actually has a whole separate store in East Greenwich uh, called uh, Les Isles Rose, uh, which is Rose Island in French. Um, and they have basically, they do gift baskets and most of their floral arrangements are done there and then shipped out to the stores. Or if you actually wanted to have a wedding done, um, like have them do your wedding, they did our wedding actually. Um, you would call them at the East Greenwich location, they would take your order, and then they would ship your wedding supplies uh, to whatever store you want to pick them up at, which is convenient. Um, anyway, they were nice, and they donated a gift basket for us this year. It's valued at $75. I believe there are no bids on this right now, so it actually, or if there are bids, they're really low, like around 30 so you're really getting a good value if you go and bid on this now. Um, it's basically just filled with a lot of snacks. Uh, it's beautifully arranged. Uh, we've got some Jelly Belly Sours. Those are my favorite Jelly Bellies. I like all sour candies. Um, some of those wafer cookies, um, pearlines. Those are the ones that taste kind of like the outside of a, uh, an ice cream cone, and then they're filled with chocolate. Love those things. You can actually use them to stir your hot cocoa or your coffee if you want, and they need them, which is kind of nice. Um, some peppermint chocolate. It's 55% dark chocolate, which is not too dark. Um, probably goes really nicely with the peppermint oil. <clears throat> um, some Dolce de Leche uh, Lindor truffles. I haven't tried that yet. It says they're new. Uh, <coughs> what else do we have here? Uh, some bark fins. Oh, I love bark fins. Um, if you've ever had like homemade chocolate bark, this is like five times better because they make it really, really thin. Uh, and so you get a nice ratio of chocolate to the nuts. Um, some Walker shortbreads, uh, which is a good deal because we're out of our shortbreads on the online store. Um, so you definitely want to do that. Um, so that's the day's gift basket. Again, that's valued at $75. And the bid right now is, well, let's see. Um, we can bring that up. Uh, its current value, its current bid is at $40. Uh, so the next bid would, I believe, would be a little above that. All right, so um, I also want to talk about in the online store, and I'm going to change gears for a minute. <clears throat> in the online store, we have what's called our surprised dinner gift card. And we talked about that in the last Facebook Live. Um, and what that is, is you pay $25 and you get a mystery envelope with some sort of a restaurant gift card in there. There's some great restaurants. We actually made a post to Facebook showing all of the restaurants that we had at that time, and we've had a few more come in. Some great Italian restaurants, Thai food, um, all kinds of stuff from all over Rhode Island. Um, and I would say that a good portion of the gift cards are more than $25, but they have at least $25, so you're getting your money back, and then some. There's quite a few 40s in there. Um, I think there's 150. There aren't any 75s or 100s this year, but they're uh, still a good value. And then we'll give you a beverage of your choice. So we have a lot of wine in stock. Um, red, white, and a few blush. Uh, we had some six packs of beer. I believe those have all been sold. There might be one left on the site. 
But I want to show you some of the wine we have. We do have some wine from all over the place. We have some California wines. We have some wines from overseas, Italian, and so on and so forth. Um, but we also have some interesting selections, too, that are somewhat local. Um, so one of our local ones, um, well, the most obvious would be Newport Vineyard. This is a Newport Pinot Grigio. Um, if you're a Pinot Grigio drinker, you know that sometimes when you get a really bad one, it tastes like bath water. It doesn't really have a lot of flavor. Um, theirs is actually really nice. It's light. It's crisp. Um, has a nice round flavor. Um, another big uh, popular vineyard in this area is Nickel Creek, and they are really local. They are right in Foster, down the street. Um, and a lot of our parishioners really love Nickel Creek uh, because they're a small family-owned vineyard. They're really nice. We like to patronize them because they're in our backyard. And also, um, I believe, I want to say they're like gluten-free, but I would think all wines are gluten-free, but perhaps that's not true. I'll have to look that up afterwards. Um, but I do know that some of our, um, um, or maybe it's that they grow organic can't remember exactly. I'll have to ask somebody. Uh, this one's actually really cool. I'd like to try this one, but I think it's already sold. It's a Raspberry Bliss. So it's actually a raspberry white wine, which is kind of neat. Um, we also, from Nickel Creek, have the Foster White. Um, I don't know much about Foster White, so let's see if it says. It does not have a description of it. Um, but I imagine it's a good drinkable white wine. It's only 11%, 11.7% alcohol by volume, so it's not going to knock you, uh, not going to knock you on your butt. And I believe we also have a red Nickel Creek. It's just buried in the back of the closet, uh, and I didn't grab it. This is another one that was introduced to me recently by our bizarre co-chair, uh, John, and he donated a few bottles of this. Uh, it's called Lab. It's a regional wine from Portugal, uh, from Lisboa, which might be near Lisbon. No, Lisbon is, is Lisbon in Portugal. Anyway, I'm not going to talk about stuff I don't know about. But anyway, um, he picked this because it's low in sulfites or sulfates, sulfites. Um, and what I learned when we went to Italy is that when a wine is low in those things, um, you don't get drunk as fast. And that's why you feel like when you're in Europe, you can drink and drink and you don't feel as drunk as quickly. Um, it turns out that most of the wine over there is low uh, in sulfites. So another thing we have, and I might have to turn the computer so you can take a look at this one because I, I seriously can't lift it. It's a huge basket. Um, and this was donated by Jill, who's probably gonna walk in in the middle of this stream because she's coming here to help me out today with packing some orders. We're gonna start packing orders today. So if you see that your order is marked done, that means we have it packed and we're ready to rock uh, for you to pick it up on Friday or Saturday. So this basket, um, it's kind of hard to see. So I'm gonna describe what's in it. First of all, there's two gift cards in the front. This is an Italian basket. Um, it has a gift card for $25 to Pastryland. Um, that's over in uh, Smithfield, right behind um, kind of between Stop and Shop and where the Burger King was. Um, and from what I understand, uh, they're fantastic and have the best Italian pastries in the area. I've been told that by three or four people, so I need to get my butt over there and check it out. Um, <clears throat> and we have a gift card for $25 to Stop and Shop, and that's because this basket will make an entire meal, actually probably make several meals. Um, and so uh, she wanted, this was, she wanted to make sure you could go buy your meats, go buy your pastries, and then you've got everything else in here to make your meal. Uh, we've included a bottle of red wine. Looks to me like it's a Sutter Home, which is California wine. Um, we also included this uh, Venturi wine aerator, and it actually aerates your wine by the glass. Um, real wine snobs like to aerate and let their red wines breathe before they drink them and it supposedly helps with the flavors and the, and the smells and it and you get a better experience this will actually let you let one glass breathe or it, it, it kind of pre-breathes it by pouring it through and aerating it um, so we included that as well um, there is a jar of what looks like sauce it yes victoria sauce We've got uh, two bags of penne. These are all from Pastine, which is actually a local product as well. Pastine is based in Canton, Massachusetts, uh, which is not too far from here, about 45 minutes away. Um, so we've got Pastine's Parmigiana. 
which is great. Um, their roasted red peppers, those are delicious, and they make a really nice roasted red. Uh, they don't have to hide it with a lot of marinade. Um, it looks like we've got some marinated mushrooms, some jardina, which is a pickled mixed vegetable. Uh, if you like pickles, you might actually like this. It's got some cauliflower in it. Looks like it has some celery, some carrots. Um, traditionally, jardina, or jardiana, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I'm not Italian, I'm French. Um, but traditionally, that's made with sort of the end of the garden. That's why you see a lot of um, cold weather vegetables in it uh, that fill it out like your um, your uh, cauliflower. Uh, when the cabbages start to come in the cold weather, they come fast and furious and you have basketballs of them, you know. Um, so it's got some breadcrumbs. You can make yourself some nice um, chicken cutlets and do a nice little chicken parm or something to that effect, or maybe a veal cutlet. Um, there's some garlic oil here and some balsamic vinegar. And I can't see what the last piece, I think there's another, another jar of sauce and something else pickled. It looks like mushrooms, but I thought we already had a jar of mushrooms. So this is a really nice package. And this right now is valued at, let's take a look. Vanna, please. Uh, this is our Buena Mangiata gift basket. It's valued at $125, which is some serious money. Um, currently, it's at a $60 bid. There are two bids. We also have another Italian basket, and I'll bring that one forward next. And this one actually has been uh, bid on a few times. And this is... I could probably lift this one up a little bit easier so you don't have to stare at the table. Um, this one's kind of cool. It's got a wine holder in it that you can put two bottles of wine in, but we put in a bottle of yellow, Yellowtail Merlot. Yellowtail, as you know, comes from Australia, but it's actually a delicious wine. Um, Australia, Southeast Australia, I believe, has started making wines over the last decade or so and become really popular for them. Um, they're particularly popular for their Shiraz, which is some Merlot. Um, and a Merlot is always nice to go with red sauce or any kind of meats. Um, it's a pretty mellow, not too spicy wine. Um, and so you can actually eat, eat spicy foods with it. Um, and we've got a jar of Kutnesca, another pastry land gift card, um, and some pasta in the back. Is that Jill? Yep. Jill, we're live on Facebook. We are. We are, and we just went over your um, Italian gift basket. We did? We did. It is well worth $125. Do you want to tell them about Pastryland? Because I've never been there. Oh, Pastryland. So yes. this is Jill. Jill, you've probably met Jill if you've been oh, to Trinity been ever. Here. Um, oh. So at Pastryland, see I'm close to Justin, he's six feet away now. Um, Pastryland, you can pick your, out of that basket, you can pick the bread that you need for this meal. You could pick when I tell you they have at least 150 different kinds of, somebody's hitting you up. Yep. Um, <laughs> we actually have nobody online right different now. Different kinds think, of dessert. Oh, great. We have three people watching. We do. This is a good thing. This is great. Yeah. It's a, and, and all of the stuff that's in it, you've already spoken about what's in we, it. We went through the whole basket. It's a beautiful basket. I had a blast buying all that stuff, so all it right. was fun. So what else, what other baskets are you going to Oh, I'm about to do the pumpkin spice one. Well, that one's fun, too. So, so I'll take this out of the way. Yeah, I'll let you go for a minute if you want. Um, I don't want to one. Yep. So Jill's going to go and uh, yep, right. get settled. But anyway, um, this is a basket that I put together, and I thought it would be so much fun, and I ended up buying enough stuff for two baskets. Um, there are people that absolutely love their pumpkin spice. Everything pumpkin spice. And so when pumpkin spice season rolled around, I started ordering pumpkin spice stuff. And so we have pumpkin spice Cheerios, pumpkin spice Jelly Bellies, pumpkin spice Twinkies. Did you know there were pumpkin spice Twinkies? Pumpkin spice Hostess cupcakes, you know the ones with the little swirls on them? Um, Boom Chicka Pop, which is the popcorn in a bag that's really popular right now. It's usually low in, in calories and fat. Pumpkin spice, so it's like a, almost like a cross between a caramel corn and a... Um, uh, kettle corn, I think. Um, we've got some Starbucks pumpkin spice coffee in this basket. The Dunkin' Donuts one is in the other basket. Um, we have pumpkin spice Milano's, I believe. Um, is a beautiful, this is, um, I don't know if you can actually see it, but this is a real pumpkin. This is a 
um, what they call a Cinderella pumpkin, because it looks like the ones that Cinderella's cart was made out of, with, pulled by the mice and all that. Um, but what you can do is cut the top off of this, scoop out the guts. You can roast the seeds if, you, if you'd like, and you'd have a great little snack. But then there's a recipe for a sausage and rice stuffed pumpkin. And you put your sausage and rice mixture into the pumpkin and bake it in the oven. And if you've never had stuffed squash or stuffed pumpkin, you really should try it. It's delicious. It can be done vegetarian. It can be done vegan. Um, th obviously, this one is sausage. Um, but you could do it with just rice. You could do it with tomatoes. You could do it um, with, uh, some people do it with bread stuffing, uh, which is great this time of year. Uh, we have some pumpkin spice pyrolines. We were talking about the pyrolines earlier. These are filled with some sort of a pumpkin spice chocolate. Uh, probably a ganache of some sort. Uh, we've got some um, candy corn pumpkins because why not? Um, we've got a cute little autumnal, a set of autumnal um, placemats, pumpkin spice Pop-Tarts. I had to keep these away from my daughter because she wanted them so badly. Uh, she's a Pop-Tart fiend. And then um, a perfectly pumpkin, uh, pumpkin cake mix. So this is a really great package. Um, it's valued at, I think, at around $50. Um, and I believe the bids are way below value right now. Uh, so this is a great basket. And you get this huge basket with it that you could literally almost do a small batch of laundry with. I'm going to step off camera for just a second, and I'm going to get one of the other baskets. Um, I keep pointing you at the ugly wall rather than the products because we've got overhead fluorescent lights, and they were glaring. So who do we have online? Anybody want to pop into the comments and say hello? I'm following on uh, website. What's that, Jill? I'm at a watch party. A watch party? Okay. All right, Jill's going to start a watch party. Um, again, I figure it's early in the afternoon, so not everybody is going to be available, but this will be up online later. You can watch it later, and then when I get home tonight, I'll download it and I'll pop it onto YouTube as well. So if you have friends that are not on Facebook, you can send them the YouTube link and they can still watch this and see what's in our silent auction. Um, again, the website is trinitynorthsituate.org. Halfway down the page, we've got a picture and a link to the bazaar. And then from there, you can link off to either the silent auction or the online store. This is a Rhode Island beach basket. Um, in the basket itself, we have a bunch of just beachy things. Uh, we've got some sunglasses, a beach, a beachy looking candle, some potpourri, um, some flip flops, because you need flip flops at the beach. Um, some sunscreen, I believe. Sun drenched beach candle and some um, incense. Oh, and a couple of really nice little, oh, it's a beach themed um, uh, cork for your wine. Obviously, you shouldn't be bringing wine to the Rhode Island State Beaches because it's illegal, but you know, bring your red solo cup or maybe your thermos and nobody will notice. Uh, but you didn't hear that from me. But the really good thing, oh, and a Danielle Steel book, but the really good thing about this basket is that it comes with not one, but two gift certificates. One will get you a Rhode Island resident only beach pass for the 2021 season. God willing, we'll be able to go to the beach um, this summer. And it also has tickets for two on the Black Island Ferry. Uh, the beach pass was actually donated by me and my family. Uh, and the Black Island Ferry donated the ferry pass, which was very generous of them. So I think I talked about Lynn on one of our last, our last Facebook Lives. Let's see if we can get this so it doesn't glare. Uh, Lynn does a lot of our gift baskets. She also did all of those reading pillows that we showed before. If you haven't seen the reading pillows, scroll on down in the Facebook feed and watch the other uh, Facebook Live, and you can see those. They were really a lot of fun. Uh, this is one of the baskets Lynn put together, and it's for a baby. So it's got a uh, cool baby rattle-type toy. Ooh, it looks electronic. Nope. Maybe not, or maybe it needs batteries. Um, so we've got some chew toys. We've got some onesies in here that look adorable. They're from Carter's. Uh, it looks like we have a bath set in the back with one of those hooded towels, uh, which my daughter absolutely loved when she was a baby. Some board books up here, a picture frame. Um, it looks like a face cloth that's tied to be a chew cloth, which is really nice when, when teething. Um, a lot of times what you can do is keep it wet and stick it in the freezer. 
and whenever they need you know something to gnaw on you give them the face cloth and they can gnaw on a cold face cloth it's not quite as cold and rough on their gums as um, an ice cube would be but it's it's still nice and cool and it gives them something to chomp on and not hurt themselves so this is a really nice basket i don't remember what the value of this is let's take a look i can hear myself echoing in the other room um so this is valued at 40 dollars, and it's currently at a 20 dollar bid with one bid we're spreading the word, Justin. We are spreading the word. I just posted it live on my, my Facebook, too. I didn't even tell Jill we were doing this. She just appeared, and I put her on camera. Yeah, so. that's OK. She's a good sport. So this one's really fun, too. This is for an older kid. And I flipped the, I'm staring at the auction site and not myself, so I can't see what you can see. Yeah. There we go. So this is another gift basket. And again, when put this together again, this is a kid's baking basket. Let's try to hold it higher. This is where my belly comes in handy. It's a shelf. Um, and so we get some Funfetti cake mix. I know my daughter loves Funfetti. Funfetti cake. Funfetti frosting with um, actual sprinkles that you can add to the frosting. Um, measuring cups, uh, cup liners. We've actually got a really nice looking muffin pan here that has the silicone liners that you can wash and reuse. Uh, those are really nice. And um, they, you know, they don't burn easily like you sometimes get when you're using um, just a raw uh, pan. Uh, it looks like some cookie cutters, some measuring spoons, more, more liners, um, a, um, I don't know if that's an apron or if it's a, or if it is a uh, towel. It looks like a towel, but it's got a ribbon on it. So it might be just like a waist apron. If you feel like your child needs a little extra protection with an apron, uh, we actually have a Shopkins apron that's in the store. And that is marked down right now to I think about $10, which is really cheap. And I made that myself. All right, next item. This one is a gardener's paradise basket. Um, and I'm starting to think that's an apron now because there's another one in here. Um, and so this one has a gift certificate. I don't remember how much, but a gift certificate to the country gardener, probably about $25, I would guess, or more. Um, and some, um, looks like a towel and possibly an apron, another towel in the back. Um, what looks to me notepad. like a notepad or a journal. Uh, when you garden, you really should keep notes of what works and what doesn't work. So the following season, you know what not to do and what to do again. Um, a lot of people don't do this. And then it looks like it's got some perennial mm -hmm. peonies in here, probably some peony crowns, I would think. Looks pretty. So, oh, nope, they're seeds. So you can instructions on how to do it. Oh, and uh, aromatherapy yeah. hand soap. Yeah, I'll take that. And it looks like maybe mint, but I'm not sure. Okay, I'll take that. What do you want next? Sure. Uh, let's go for the dog basket. This one? Yep, over here. I'm oh. working to the right, so oh, okay. the dog was right. Yep. So we have this is another one from Lynn. Lynn Lynn likes to do our baskets, and she does a beautiful job. So this one's for your fluffy friend, because um, you know we need to give our pets Christmas gifts too, because we're crazy like that. And so this one's got a frisbee, so you can play fetch. Um, some roasted chicken snacks. A little. Um, Oh, it looks like one of those kerchiefs like they put on when you go to the grooming place. Um, some dog chews. They look like they're made out of real meat of some sort. Uh, there's a nylon bone in here. A, um, one of those tug uh, ropes with a ball on the end of it. Um, and then in the back, some pet mats to trap litter and clean up. Under food, oh, and also under food and water bowls. That's always nice because we have cats and there's always litter all over the place What's near that? the litter boxes. How about the big one in the back? Yeah. Or one of the big ones. Oh, well, this is big. Yeah. So um, if you want a really better description of this, you should go watch our other Facebook Live because we actually went over this and I had the person who put it together talking about it. Um, but this is from uh, Lenny and Sarah Schwartz. Uh, Lenny is a local author, playwright, and he does all kinds of things. Um, and he wrote this book, and his friend illustrated it, I believe. Um, and so this is his latest book. It's still in shrink wrap. Um, he may or may not have autographed it, but if we want it autographed, I'm sure we could ask him, and he would be happy to do that. Um, and like I said, you can, you can learn more about this on the site, about the subject of the book. Um, it is about a local doctor, I believe. 
um, and something to do with diabetes, which is why we have some sugar-free chocolates as snacks in the front. Um, there's some good old-fashioned microwave popcorn, some Sharpies. Um, they want this to be a break from adulting basket. Um, and that's always a great thing to have, especially during a pandemic. Um, a Netflix gift card, and let's see what's headset, I believe. They're the earbuds with the little strap that goes behind like this, and then the earbuds that stick into the ear. Um, oh, and some snacks on the back. Just can't see what it is. Dried, dried something, dried banana chips. Ooh dried banana chips. Um, so this is valued at about, I think, 70 or $75 as well. I believe there's only about three bids on it right now. Um, so it's still good value. All right, and this is our spa day basket. And this one has in it a bath bomb ball, um, some some bottles with some sparkly things. I'm not exactly sure what they are. Um, I'm thinking some sort of gel. Uh, we've got a poof. Oh, maybe those are soap. They might be um, like some sort of a body soap. We've got a, one of those um, infuser water bottles in the back where you can put the fruit down the center and then put your water in and then you'll have like slightly orange flavored water or slightly, you know, lemon, whatever you choose to put for fruit in there. Um, is a salt crystal lamp, uh, which is made out of actual chunk of salt. Uh, and then it's been carved out and turned into a lamp. And those are supposed to give off uh, some sort of good vibes. Uh, I do not know my alternative medicine to be able to talk about it, but um, there's a faux sea sponge in here to you know lather up. There's a loofra, which is the rough sponge that can help take off the um, dead skin. There is some um, Orchard and Vine uh, body lotion in here. It looks to me like this is, oh, the nail polish strips. You know the ones they have now that are like stick on instead of paint on? There's some set of those in here. So anything you need to, to do to pamper yourself. Oh, and some fuzzy slippers. So you, when you're all said and done and you've done your nails, you can be cozy and go watch Netflix if you go buy the other basket. All right, this one's not so much about the basket, although it is a cute little sleigh, which could be used for floral arrangements or anything else. Um, and it's got some golf balls and golf tees. But what this is, is uh, a round of golf for two, Monday through Thursday, uh, no carts included, at uh, Crystal Lake, which is in Barville. Is that in Pasco or Harrisville? It's on the line. I should know I'm from Barville, but they built it after I left. Um, so if you like to golf, this is actually a really nice value. Golfing is something that you'll be able to do that is COVID friendly. Um, I don't know, they're probably still open because we've had some good weather. Um, but of course you can always go in the spring. You did? Yeah. In a watch party? Yeah. How many people we got? We got four people on here that I can see. Okay, this is the other pumpkin spice basket. I told you I went a little crazy with it. Um, and I'm just gonna put it down because it's really heavy. But you get another one of those Cinderella uh, pumpkins um, that you can carve out. And it comes with the recipe for the sausage stuffing to stuff in it, put it in the oven, and have yourself a, a stuffed sausage. Um, you could either have that as a full meal yourself uh, for one person, or you could split it in two once it comes out of the oven. You could feed two people and then just supplement it with a little something else. Um, be great. Another vegetable would be nice or um, anything hearty really. Uh, potato would be nice as well. And uh, This one has some pumpkin spice applesauce. I thought that was cool and I had to, I had to grab a jar. Um, I want to say there were two jars of that so there's probably one buried in the other basket that I just didn't see. Um, <coughs> excuse me. We've got the pumpkin spice, jelly belly, some cinnamon sticks, a coffee mug. Um, this one has a Dunkin Donuts gift card and um, a package of Dunkin' Donuts pumpkin spice K-Cups. Um, so this one has the Dunkin' Donuts coffee, the other one has ground Starbucks coffee. Again, pumpkin spice. So if you like Starbucks, other basket, you like Dunkin', this is the basket for you. Um, it's got International Delight, those little creamers, flavored pumpkin spice. Um, some more pumpkin spice Milanos. Um, this one's got pumpkin spice bathroom spray. 
uh, and that's either by Glade or Febreze. It looks like Febreze. Um, pumpkin spice granola. That was another one. I had to keep that one away from my wife because she likes granola. Um, and it did make it into the basket. And then another couple of nice autumnal. Um, uh, it's kind of weird seeing you choose. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm staring at my sister. She's got the other computer over in the corner here. Um, some placements. So that's a really nice one, too. And again, there aren't many bids on that. The next thing I want to show you, and I'm going to unwrap this because we couldn't find it the other day when we were looking for it. This is beautiful. Um, so this is this is made by Barbara Thompson. Yes. Yeah. Barbara Thompson. Jill actually went to pick this up from Barbara, I believe, and she is one of our parishioners who does cross stitch. And I actually like this one. I have to say. Yeah, it's pretty. Um, it's got what almost looks like a hand crocheted lace on it. It's yeah. not. I did ask her, but um, it looks hand crocheted on a pretty pretty linen and i don't know if you can actually see the detail but it's got that nice linen detail look and then she did all the cross stitch detail uh which is poinsettias um and that's a nice little um i'd say it's what it's, about yard long. Table. Yeah. it's about three feet long and great for like a coffee, a coffee table or a sofa table um anything like that <coughs> and it's quite pretty and then barbara also did for us and I'm not going to unwrap this one because honestly, it's the very... pictures on the website are easier. But this is a full size rectangular tablecloth, and it's done with a rose motif with some swirls uh, in the center. And you can check that out. Uh, both of these have not had high bids on them yet. So you can get these at a really great value right now. Of course, what we want is bidding wars. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get this out of the box without hurting it. Again, if you want a full picture of this, I would actually go to the website. Um, well, there's a bidding war on this thing, too. This is beautiful. This has had a bidding war on it. This is actually up at almost double its value. Yep. It's but valued it's worth at $100. It. Worth it. Yep. Um, and we have two ladies from the parish that are in a bidding war over it, and they both seem to have deep pockets this year. Um, this is Mary from it. So we have um, a gentleman from our parish. His name is Bob Liptrot, and he does um, carving. So these have been cut out. Uh, this is Mary from the crash. So this is an entire crash. Uh, you get the manger, I'm sorry, the crash, mm -hmm. um, which I always forget which the manger is the trough and the crash I believe is the barn. So you get the barn, um, you get all the figurines that go with it. So the three wise men, Mary, Joseph, there is no baby Jesus. There's just sort of the empty, um, uh, I know a lot of times you have the separate baby Jesus and you can move him in uh, once he's born. Um, but this doesn't. So anyway, he cuts them out, hand carves the edges and all of the details, and then hand paints them. Um, he does beautiful work. So like I said, this one is in a bidding war right now. You can go try to bid on it if you like. We would love you to go bid on that. We would love you to go bid on it. Uh, if you're not into bidding, there is one of Bob's pieces that's still available in the online store for $25, and it's a Santa figurine. I don't think I'm going to you're both going in and out and they're sharing it though. Well, that's good. Yes, please share this. And as I mentioned, uh, tonight I will put it on YouTube. And if you have people that don't have Facebook, you can email them the YouTube link. Um, so this is, um, this goes with a gift card. <clears throat> this is a $50 gift card <coughs> to Henry's Tree Farm, which I believe is right here in Situ, is it not? I have my drink somewhere. I'm a good sister. Thank you. Um, so a $50 gift card to Henry's Tree Farm, and since it's pickup this weekend, you'll have it in time to go pick up your Christmas tree. Um, and we're giving you a, <clears throat> I believe it says silver in the description. I may have forgotten to change it. It's actually more of a gold-colored sequin uh, damask quilted um, tree skirt and a basic tree stand, which, yeah, a tree stand. Um, and you know what I want to show about? I want to figure out a way to show how big this thing is. Uh, I might just, I might just wrap myself in. It's huge. So we have this. This was knit by a family member of my wife. A crochet wrapper, not knit. I mean, I'm gonna undo the beautiful wrap job that I already did on it because I need to show you this. This does not photograph well, but it is gorgeous. <laughs> It's gorgeous, it's soft, it's fluffy. This is a full-sized afghan. You could get two people under this comfortably 
and still have room to spare. And I'm sure my daughter would sneak over with us too. Oh yeah. So, and this thing is so, it's huge, it's heavy, and it's got a nice, almost, nice pattern. What a pattern. Almost like a popcorn row stitch yeah, it to is. it. It's patterned. Oh, yep. God, wrong side. I think this is, yeah, that's yeah. what I said. So, yeah, there we go. Um, almost like a popcorn roast popcorn. stitch, popcorn. and then this sort of lacy design in between. That's beautiful. Um, would make a great wedding gift. Um, would make just something great to sit over the back of your couch, and yeah. then when you're warm, when you're cold, just take it and cuddle up with That's it. Taking forever to do. Yep, it was a beautiful, beautiful job she did. So, um, I but I just, I really want to show you how big. Let me. Yeah. I'll show you how big it is. <laughs> I'm not a tiny guy. Yeah, it's big. Yeah, it's huge. Could probably fit three or four people under this thing. All right. So is this, this I believe, has yes, it's in the silent auction. It has no bids right now. Uh, so you can probably get a really good value on it. Yes. So, um, one more thing that's out here. <clears throat> Uh, this is a gift certificate for Get Your Glow, which is right here in Situate Village. Um, if you're not from the Situate area and you're familiar with the art festival, it's right downtown where the art festival usually is. Um, Get Your Glow, and it is a facial treatment. There's some information on the auction site, if you scroll through the pictures, from the Get Your Glow uh, product website that we've put up there so that you can get an idea. Um, I believe it is an electronic treatment for your face, mm -hmm. and they show before and after pictures of what it does. It's valued at $125, and Get Your Glow in town donated this to us. Uh, and so you can get it for less than $125. I think the if minimum we don't bid is $65. Yep, minimum bid I think is about well $65. Worth well, well worth it. So well worth that. <coughs> now. I'm gonna try something new and then we'll wrap this up, but I'm gonna to try to see if I can figure out screen sharing so we can go over some of the items that I don't have physically here. Um, you know what I wish I could find? Can you check the closet um, for these? Either in the closet or they might be under the table in the bazaar room. Um, I'm trying to find them. The prestige luggage set. Yep. They're dark blue. Yep. They're not the ones that are in the gray bags, I don't think. Um, let's see if we can do a screen share so we can show you some of this stuff. I believe. Can I do a? Sh I can't do a screen share in the middle. Apparently, we can't. <laughs> so I guess we'll talk about some of these items. Um, if you want to follow along, you can go to trinitynorthsituate.org. Um, and click on the bizarre link in the center of the page and then from the bizarre link <coughs> click on the silent auction red button towards the top of the screen um, one of the things i wanted to talk about is um, the kids karate parties these are a really amazing value and i will tell you that yes <coughs> we can't have those parties right now but these are good they do not expire as far as i know um, so <coughs> excuse me Right in the village here, it's very dry in here and it's very dry in my house. I promise it's not the Rona cough. Um, so my daughter Addison has been doing karate at Premier Martial Arts, which it really isn't karate, it's a mixed martial arts program. Um, and she's been doing it for about two years maybe now. <clears throat> and it's a three year program to get your black belt. So she's well over two thirds of her way to it. Um, and they really have a nice program because it's a mixture of um, traditional karate, um, a uh, kickboxing moves, and then also, um, I can't remember the name of it, but a, a wrestling-based martial arts. And so what you get out of that is your kickboxing gives you all of your kicking and punching moves as well as your physical fitness. Um, <clears throat> your uh, traditional karate moves give you all of your blocking and your self-defense. Uh, and then the wrestling helps with any close contact, hand-to-hand -hand type of combat. In addition to that, they have some weapons. They work with a collie stick, which is a stick about this long made out of bamboo. Um, they work with a bow staff, which is uh, the big long one that looks like a pool cue, except it's pointed on both ends. Um, and what's really cool, if you want to tell your kid that 
you know, they're wicked cool. Uh, you know who is really good with a bow staff is Rey from the Star Wars series. Um, if you watch the scene in the desert at the beginning on Jakku, she's kicking butt with a bow staff. <coughs> uh, and they also work with uh, nunchucks. And for the adult program, uh, they have a couple of other weapons as well. Or you can, you can pay extra and you can do the blade training as well. They use the um, commas, which are sticks about yay long with a sharp blade, almost like, a, um, like you use to harvest hay. <laughs> um, and there's two of those and they swing them like this. Uh, my daughter is not in that program, not because I don't want her to, but just because uh, it's, one more, it's one more step. Maybe she can do that later. Um, and they also work with the big long swords as well. And they have a demo team. Um, it's really a nice program, and it's a small school right here in Situate Village in the Bridget O's IGA Plaza. Uh, right now they are doing, because of the pause, they're switching back to a Zoom-based program. So they do Zoom. She'll be on tonight <coughs> with her class and uh, learning her karate skills by Zoom. She just had her stripe testing uh, last week, I believe, for which is one of the steps towards the next belt. Um, but anyway, back to the karate. We have for you two, two of these. You can bid on either one. Karate pizza parties. They're an hour and a half. Um, you have the, instru <coughs> the instructor and or owner there. Um, and you can invite uh, up to so many children. They provide the pizza. And they do some sort of basic karate stuff with you. But then they also just do a lot of fun games. Um, they gamify it. And then there's a point where they actually roll out one of those bouncy house things right into the middle of the studio. The kids can just make themselves silly. Um, so it's a really great party. You do it as a, as, a, um, as a birthday party, or you could just do it to get the kids out of the house and get a bunch of their friends together to have fun together. Um, and they're a almost a $200 value. <laughs> excuse me, $198 value. And right now they're both sitting there with no bids at 50 bucks. So for 50 bucks, you can have a pizza party for your kid and a bunch of their friends and get them out of the house. Like I said, they don't expire. So you can use them once the restrictions finally loosen up either, you know, this summer or later, later this year. Um, maybe when we're cooped up next year around this time, right. um, we'll be able to actually open the studio and have those pizza parties. So it's a good thing to just take and stick in a corner. Luggage. Now I want to show you this luggage set because we didn't realize what it was until we, we all opened it. So it's got a, it's got a strap. I'm going to try to adjust the camera here a little bit so you can see the luggage and not me. Um, <clears throat> it looks like a duffel bag. But, and it is a duffel bag, it can be used as a duffel bag. But, when you unzip it, it's hard to show on video, but it's still easier than it is to try to photograph it. It unzips on the ends here, almost like a pet carrier. Not a pet carrier. We thought it was. <laughs> it's not a pet carrier. Um, we thought so, and then we opened it up and we realized that inside, it's a small garment bag. Um, I looked it up, and it's made by a company called Prestige. And um, yeah, and it's brand new, by the way. This was donated to us, brand new. Um, and so you have, I have it upside down, I think. But see, it's actually a garment, a garment bag here. You can hang um, something short. I, you know, you, you could do a dress, but it would fold double. Yeah. Um, but it's really made for like a jacket or, or a jacket and a blouse. And then you do this. You zip it up, turn it back into a bag, and then you stuff all your underwear and t-shirts and jeans and everything on top of it. And you've got a nice little bag. It should be, it probably is a little bigger than you're supposed to use in a carry-on situation, but the airlines are usually so flexible with that that you could probably get away with this as your sole um, luggage. That comes with <coughs> your actual carry-on, and this will definitely fit underneath the seat on an airline when we're able to fly again. Um, and this is just a nice little travel backpack. It's got one big pocket in the back, a small pocket in the front to get your keys and your easy to get stuff. And you can just sling it over your back and grab your carry-on bag that we just showed you and off you go to your business meeting or whatever else. <laughs> but I really wanted to show you that because it's really cool. Um, I'm gonna talk about a couple of other things. Um, that we don't physically have. I might grab the Jessica Moore bags too. Uh, we have this Thomas Kincaid set. This was actually donated to us 
Um, it's used in the sense that somebody previously owned it. I don't know that it was ever used on a tree. Um, <clears throat> but it was, uh, it's a whole set of Thomas Kincaid houses as Christmas ornaments. And we've looked it up. It's valued at um, over $200. Um, and the starting bid on it is $85. Uh, but you get a set of an entire, uh, how many are in it? 24 pieces and they're illuminated so what you can do is you can take the christmas lights and there's a hole to stick the christmas lights up inside so then when they're hanging on your tree you have all these houses that are lit up for christmas um we thought briefly about putting them on a christmas tree and actually giving you the christmas tree with it um but we thought that might be a little too hard to handle with uh curbside pickup so we're <laughs> offering this set um this year However, if you're able to bid on that and then get the Henry's Christmas tree farm one on top of it, you'd have your Christmas tree and that, and then you just need to pick up a couple of sets of inexpensive lights. Um, but they're really pretty. <laughs> Excuse me, and I'm sorry we don't have better pictures of them. I'll see if I can find some tonight and stick them up there. Um, we also have, for those of you who heat with wood, we have two options for cords of wood. We have a one cord. Uh, valued at 100, I'm sorry, valued at $200, um, has three bids on it up to 120, so it's still, you know, almost, almost half of what, what it's worth you can get it for right now, um, a little over, over half. <clears throat> um, it comes from our good friends, uh, Trinity members, the Schumachers, they have a whole bunch of wood on their property, and they were kind enough to donate it, and then John, who is our because our co-chair has offered to deliver it to your house. Um, it's our understanding that Connecticut state law doesn't allow us to transport wood over the border for ecological reasons, but um, we can deliver it anywhere within the border towns. And if you have a question about whether we can de deliver to your home, send us an email, orders at trinitynorthsituate.org, and we'll ask John flat out if he can take it to your house or not. Um, we also have, <coughs> excuse me, a half cord and that was donated by a local businessman, and I can't find the details on it. That one is valued at $100. <clears throat> its current bid is 52, so it's still a little more than half of its value right now. There's only one bidder. However, that is green firewood, um, which means that it can't be used this heating season. You would have to let it sit until it's fully dry until next season. Um, <clears throat> Excuse me, and that comes with delivery as well to any to Situate and all of our bordering towns. Again, if you live just outside of that region, give us a yell. We'll reach out to him and ask if he would be willing to deliver to your area. Um, what else do we have here? We have. Um, oh, she brought me the Jessica Moore stuff. So, <clears throat> I do you know anything about Jessica Moore? I do not. I do not either, but. Uh, they look like a really good quality bag. Uh, this is a handbag, and I actually didn't want to take off all the plastic, which is why it's not photographed with the handle out. Um, however, um, this handbag looks like this. Nice, deep, big bag. Um, tote, really. I mean, you could fit you could <laughs> anything you possibly you need in there. You want it, you know? <laughs> Almost, yeah, you could probably fit a, a, mat, a small Mac. Yeah. Endwise in there or a Chromebook or yeah. something, yeah. Uh, and then still have room for your lunch and your snacks and everything else. Mm -hmm. um, it this also comes be... with the um, backpack mini out. backpack pocketbook. So this is one of those little ones you just sling and you can keep all your normal stuff. And it comes with a wallet as well. I don't know where the wallet oh. wandered to. Um, <clears throat> it might be in one of the bags, but it's a standard ladies wallet, the big wide billfold style. Um, and that, you found it? Um, that is valued at 150. We did look up the prices for those. Oh, here's the wallet, and I can't see myself. So, while it, actually, it isn't quite that thick. It's a thinner style. And <clears throat> excuse me, I would say that if you stretch the zipper ever so slightly, you could probably slide an iPhone in there. Whoop. Um, and it also, which is what I just dropped, has the. Um, Put on a, a wrist the, wrist strap. The garment bag for them, so. I'm sorry. This is, this is yes, it big. also comes with the storage bags yeah. as well, uh, which will protect your your the investment. Item. Your investment. Your investment. Um, and these, I believe, have no bids on them right now. So you could get 
<coughs> excuse me, valued at $150 for all three of them. Uh, and the starting bid is only $65. So that's a real bargain if you happen to like um, bags and purses and whatnot. Uh, we have a home heating package uh, that's valued at $250. Um, it's $100 worth of oil. You have to order 200 gallons uh, to use the gift certificate, but it is a gift certificate for $100 worth of oil from Rambone and Sprague here in Situate. Um, and that also comes with a Google Nest thermostat. And it's one of the lower end of the Google Nest. It doesn't have the self-learning, but it's still a really attractive thermostat. You can still um, log in online on your phone and... and uh, make changes to your heating and I believe it also works with um, smart speakers like um, <clears throat> like either Apple Home or the uh, Google or I'm sorry Google Home Apple I don't know what the Apple speaker is called and the um, all the Alexa products from Amazon in fact I just had Google Nest put in my home and I really like them because you can just yell across the room Alexa what's the temperature in the hallway and she'll answer you and you say Alexa turn the temperature up in the living room and she'll do it um, so it's kind of nice. Um, that's a really nice value. That is valued at $250 and is only $65 right now, and there's one bid on it. Uh, what else do we have? We have, this has no bids, um, Fred Astaire Dance Studios out in Warwick. Um, Lambert Lynn, what, what, which highway is that? That's Route, you don't know. Um, they have two private dance lessons. No, it doesn't matter. Um, it's out in Warwick anyway. <coughs> um, valued at $125, it's current bid, or no bids, it's starting bid is $50. Um, and you get two private dance lessons for a couple or a single. Um, they are used to having people who don't have a dance partner, and they will find one for you. <laughs> so if you're single, you can still do this and still go learn some ballroom dancing. Um, and then after you do private lessons, you get to go to one of their Friday night socials. I don't know how that's working during COVID. You could give them a call and ask. Um, I would imagine they're probably closed during the pause because they would be considered a gym uh, or, or a dance studio type, uh, type business and all of those are closed right now. Um, <clears throat> but they will definitely honor the, the certificate later. And they donated that to us uh, free of charge, which was really nice. Um, something else I want to talk about, and I forgot to grab them. Um, chill. <laughs> Could you grab one of the, um, on the bottom right hand of the back rack, um, one of the um, um, ceramic trees. You don't have to grab the stand and everything. Um, we're going to talk about the trees in a minute. Um, we've got this all you need to chill outside package. This is really cool. Um, it comes with... And I could probably grab this thing. But anyway, it's a little stand. It looks like um, a tube like this, and it's made out of bamboo. And it's got a circle on the top where you can hang four, four wine glasses upside down. Uh, and then the center is actually cooler. I believe it has a removable uh, cooler unit so that you can put it in the, free, in the freezer and then stick it in there and it'll keep your wine cool. And you take that and put it outside on your patio table, or if you have one of those nice outdoor lounge sets, it would be a nice place. Uh, we're giving you the bottle of wine as well. Um, it's photographed with a bottle of lab, but if you want something besides the lab and we have it, you're welcome to, um, <coughs> to choose from what we have. Uh, and also a cute little LED lantern that is ceramic and LED battery, I'm sorry, it's not battery operated. I believe it is solar, so it charges itself. Um, and so it's just a nice, a nice outdoor chill um, type thing. We have a blue stoneware platter. I don't know where that is, so I can't show it to you, but it's beautiful. In fact, it's killing me not to bid on it because I have a thing for serving pieces. My wife will tell you that I'm not allowed to bring any more bowls into the house. That's the one reason I haven't bid on this thing because I don't have any place to put it. And I'm drinking tea. Um, so, um, and that comes with one of our Trinity cookbooks. Um, Trinity, a few years ago, got all of their parishioners together, and they, um, I say they because we weren't here yet, um, <clears throat> got all of their favorite recipes, compiled them into a cookbook. We have a bunch of those cookbooks, so we're going to include that with the Bluestone platter. The platter has a value of $25. It's currently at 20 with three bits, um, which is still a really good deal, <clears throat> honestly. I would pay $30 for this, this platter easily, even without the cookbook. 
Um, if you're interested in the cookbook, they're five dollars on the online store. We have plenty of them. You can also stop into our Trinity Thrift Shop at any time and they have a supply of them as well for five dollars a piece. Let's see, do we have any watchers? I haven't been looking. We have two watchers. So awesome. I'm glad there's some people in the middle of the day here that were willing to watch. Um, <clears throat> the boozy nip tree is in the other room, but I had a lot of fun making this. So every year my, my family goes up to the lakes region in New Hampshire and we, um, we hang out for the summer and we always stop at the New Hampshire liquor store. And so this year I went over to their display where they have dozens and dozens of nips, the little like ounce and a half, two ounce bottles. Um, which incidentally, I think are, are uh, they would pass TSA inspection, wouldn't they? But uh, probably not the liquor. But anyway, <clears throat> I bought a whole bunch of those. And then I bought a little Christmas tree, about this big. I think it was like a one foot tree. And I hung all the bottles on the tree. And then I sat and made popcorn, um, popcorn garland for it while watching TV one night. And we wrapped the garland around. And then we found a little angel to protect the booze. So we put an angel on top. Um, <laughs> and then I attached that to a four pack of a cranberry cocktail. Uh, there are four packs of, I think, 12 ounce, uh, cans. Um, and it's like a cranberry vodka, almost like a Cape Cotter in a can. Uh, that's on a disc. And then there's, um, four larger size nips around the bottom, uh, with some better, better booze. Uh, so anyway, that's that's actually doing really well right now. It's valued at fifty dollars. It's already up to sixty with eleven bids. So I think there's a mild bidding war going on in that one. But it's a really fun gift if you have somebody who just likes to drink and or you like to make fun of them for drinking or whatever the case may be. Uh, we wouldn't make fun of alcoholism, but we can make fun of people who who like to uh, who just like to have have their evening drink or whatever. Um, this would be a good treat for them to say, "Hey, look, I got you a supply." Um, plus it's just cute and different. Uh, we also have some beautiful Bryant University swag. Uh, <clears throat> Bryant University usually gives us tickets to the, and I apologize, I'm shaking the camera. Uh, they usually give us tickets to some of their sports games, but they're not playing right now because of COVID. So instead they offered us um, a package full of swag or um, just really nice sportswear. There's a baseball cap uh, with the B on it for Bryant. Did I say Bryant University or college? I meant university. If I said college, I apologize. Uh, many years of calling it college. Um, this is, these are all Adidas products, so you know they're, um, they're high-priced items, and you would pay a lot for them, even without the university logo on them. Um, there's a um, winter hat and then a really, really nice sports pullover. I believe it's a women's size large. Yes, women's size large. Uh, and it's that really nice, like, wicking athletic knit. Um, it looks like it'd be really comfortable, in it, but it certainly wouldn't fit me. Um, and that right now has no bids on it. Uh, so you can get all of that for $35. And let me tell you, just the sweater alone is worth, like, $55 or $60. So um, <clears throat> that's a really good value if you can get it at the starting bid. Um, we have a smartwatch. I think that probably doesn't need much explaining, but that is valued at $50 and is currently at 20 with one bid. And we have a, um, these two decorative snow shovels. Those are actually doing pretty well. Um, those are valued at 20 and they're up to 20 with four bids. Um, they're just cute. They're decorative. They say season's greetings and let it snow so they can be part of your Christmas decorations. Um, one thing that, oh, it finally has some bids on it. So if you've ever been to downtown Providence in the middle of the summer, you know they do those gondola rides like they do in Venice. Um, <clears throat> well, we have a gondola ride for two. Uh, I believe it's like an hour and a half trip, something to that effect. It's value, excuse me, at about $150. <coughs> it's currently at $55 with only two bids. Um, and it includes a bottle of wine. Um, they don't sell wine there, so they do a bring your own. So you can actually bring your wine with you and have it on the boat. Um, so that's a really nice experience. I've never done that. I've never even seen water fire, actually. Um, <clears throat> we have an electric skillet. So there's a few items that we added this year from our Penny Social, uh, some things that we thought would stand on their own. There's a $35 value electric skillet that's currently at three bids for $17. It looks like a really nice skillet. Um, I would totally use it, but I don't have a lot of room to store appliances. 
We have a hair styling products package. Um, <coughs> from the looks of this package, uh, this is worth it for the straightener alone. The straightener alone is well over $100. And then there's some hair products and then a Conair um, small compact, or actually I believe it's a mid-size hair dryer as well. But the straightener is a high-end salon hair straightener. Um, and it is, it is worth the majority of the price. And that's currently no bids and $65. So you can get like a hundred something dollar hair straightener plus the other items for $65. Pretty good deal. Um, <clears throat> I talked last time about the I Love um, clocks. Uh, those are really nice because they have the wireless chargers at the top of the alarm clock. So you can just slap your phone right on top or, or provided your phone does wireless charging and you don't have to have that separate puck on the side and it eliminates um, one plug. If you don't have wireless charging, it also has a USB plug so you can actually plug your charger into the clock instead of having to have a power brick in the wall. Um, so again, it's still a nice, a nice way to get rid of some of the clutter on your nightstand. Um, and then we have our sheet and comforter set. They're for king size. They're these um, <coughs> velvet touch buffalo check plaid. Um, flannel sheets in king size, and then a comforter, uh, and it's a down alternative comforter, so it's one of those nice big puffy ones where you can buy uh, the duvet to go with it. Uh, where did my, did you take my tree away, Jill? I did, you threw it around? I never talked about the tree. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. So I really wanted to talk about the vintage Christmas trees. Uh, vintage Christmas trees, uh, so the, in the, I think the 60s, 70s, and 80s, mostly the 60s and 70s, a lot of people like to go to ceramics class, which you can still do now. Um, but one of the popular things to do in ceramics class were these ceramic Christmas trees. And they have a little stand with a light kit on the bottom that you would shove up inside. And they would light up and they have these little like light bright pegs yep. around the outside that would light up. Now this is a small one. This is only about seven inches, I think I measured it. Um, and I'm, I'm missing the stand. The stand is in the other room. Um, but the stand has the light kit in it that goes up inside so that these little pegs would light up. And we have some replacement pegs that we'll try to include in the orders as well because they do have a tendency to come out um, when the glue dries. Uh, but anyway, <clears throat> these were really popular, like I said, back in the 60s, 70s, and then the early 80s, and it kind of tapered off and people were like, eh, my grandma has one of those. I, you know, like it, it's just one of those things that was in grandma's place and you're like, what the heck is this? You know, whatever. Last year, for whatever reason, they became extremely popular. And everybody was digging through their grandparents' attics or their old stuff and trying to find these and saying, can I have your ceramics class tree? Um, and so they're selling the, the full-size ones, which are like 18 inches or so, are selling right now on eBay for like $75 and above, uh, the real vintage ones. Now, these are not super vintage. These are probably from the 80s or 90s. I'm not exactly sure. I didn't ask her. But we have a woman named Pam who does a lot of our crafts here. And Pam made these herself. So she actually um, did the ceramic glaze underneath and all of the detail. You can see all the detail of the leaves, if I can get it to the camera. Um, all the striping in the leaves and the shadowing. And then put a high gloss glaze on it and had it fired. Um, so that <clears throat> it looks like this. And then hand glued all of the little dots on. And when this lights up, it looks absolutely beautiful. You can see it lit up on the website. Um, on the, the auction site, as well as the website, um, we have, for the silent auction, we have a set that includes this one, the seven and a half inch, plus a slightly smaller one. I'm looking to see what, I've, what the sizes were. Uh, so it's kind of like a mini forest. You get the seven and a half inch, um, and then you get a small one that also lights up. It's probably about a five inch. And then you get a tiny one that doesn't light up, just a little tree. Um, and you can set them up like a tiny little forest. And these are great if you don't have a lot of storage space or you don't have a lot of display space and you just want something smaller scale. Um, and those actually have four bids on them now. They weren't bidding, but it looks like it's picked up a little bit. Um, the value is $65 um, and they're at $46 for that set. But we also have a full-size one that, again, was made by Pam. I apologize, I did not take a picture of it lit up. I will try to rectify that, but we're running out of time. Um, but it looks just like the small ones when it's lit up. Um, <clears throat> and that one is on its own. And the current bid on that is 
$35 and it's a value of 75. Um, so you actually could get a real deal, good deal on these. Now, you can go out and target and probably buy these for like 25 or $30, but you'd be getting a target quality one made overseas. These were made right here um, by Pam, hand painted, uh, all the little lights glued on by hand, glazed and fired. Um, and we have a few of the smaller ones also in the online store that you can just outright buy. Um, I looked last night and the three piece kit, the one with the tree I just had in my hand, the smaller one and the tiny one, um, you can get all those pieces in the store for about $55. Uh, and that's with our Black Friday pricing, which I have not turned off yet. And maybe I will, maybe I won't. Uh, so if you want that good pricing, you should get over there now and, and buy it. Um, let's see. Do we have anything else in here? Uh, we have a mosquito catcher. <coughs> Excuse me. That had a surprisingly large value. Uh, that's valued if you were to go out and buy it at $75. Um, and that will help get the mosquitoes out of your yard. It's currently at a $29 bid, so you can get a really good deal. And if you like to use your backyard and get those skeeters out, um, that's a good tool. Um, I could go over some of the other, the, most of the other things we went over the other day. I'm gonna talk about one last item, and that's our snowy fun, our snowy day fun package. Uh, it comes with two snow tubes. One is unicorn shaped, and one is penguin shaped. Um, a, $25 or $30 gift card. I think it's $25. Tw uh, $25 Dunkin' gift card, so you can go get some hot chocolate after you've spent some time in the snow. And then if you're not one to go in the snow, you can snuggle up. There's an electric throw on there, and it's a throw size electric blanket, and it's made of um, fleece or minky, uh, if you'll use a, a sewing term. Um, and just the throw alone is is almost worth the value of this this particular package. Um, right now, the value of that is $80 and it's at 33 with only four bids. So that's a little bit about our silent auction. Um, <clears throat> you can bid, just to give you an idea of how it works, you go on there, you create an account, you do have to create an account and tell us who you are, um, and you bid. <clears throat> and you can either do a flat bid, you can say, I want to bid this dollar amount, and then wait and see if somebody outbids you and go back and bid another flat dollar amount. Or you can do what's called a proxy bid. Um, and that you probably are familiar with if you've ever seen a bidding site like eBay. You say, this is the maximum dollar amount, <coughs> excuse me, that I'm willing to bid. And the system will auto bid small amounts and it tells you what the bid amount, the, the bid increment is. So it might be $3, it might be $5. Um, and what it'll do is if you're losing, it'll bid the next bid increment, so another $3. And then if that person bids over you, it'll bid another $3, and it'll keep doing that until it hits the max amount for your proxy bid. Um, so you can kind of let it bid on its own and not have to watch it like a hawk, uh, knowing what you're comfortable paying for the item. And then when you get outbid, if you get outbid, um, <clears throat> you can always go in and add a new proxy bid. Uh, if you win the item, you'll get an email and an invoice from 32 Auctions, which is our auction site um, system, uh, asking you to go pay for your item. We're asking that you pay within 36 hours, so within three days. And that's because we want to do the pickups on Wednesday. Uh, the auction site, <coughs> excuse me, the auction site closes at three o'clock on Saturday. That's this Saturday uh, afternoon. Um, so that's when the, the winner emails will go out. Um, and those should go out automatically, I believe. Um, so we ask you to pay within three days. If you don't pay within three days, we will try to prompt you, but um, we do reserve the right to give it to the next bidder in line. So you do want to make sure and pay those invoices. As far as pickup goes, we have three sessions and they're published right there on the website when you can come pick them up. I believe one of them is Wednesday night. You can also pick up, if you pay in time, you can pick up on Sunday after our worship services. Uh, which are online by Zoom right now anyway, but we just scheduled it that way because it was convenient. Um, and that's around 10.45, and we'll be here till about 1 uh, on the Sunday. So it's the Sunday after the bazaar, the Wednesday after the bazaar, and then the following Sunday after the bazaar as well. If for some reason you can't make any of those, maybe you're under COVID quarantine or uh, you're away. Uh, you shouldn't be away. You should be locked down. But if you're away, uh, just send us an email, orders at trinitynorthsituate.org, and we'll arrange with you 
for a time to pick it up. If you don't pick up after two weeks, um, we do reserve the right to um, donate the item and and uh, or give it to the next bidder in this case. <laughs> so uh, that's all for today. Thank you for uh, hanging out with us for a little bit. Uh, I'm going to try to do one of these every day this week, and we'll talk about different things. Tomorrow I was thinking we might take a walk downstairs and take a look at some of the Trinity Greens. Uh, our Greens women and John and his wife have been working on them uh, pretty much two days a week for the last few weeks uh, to prep them all, and they look absolutely gorgeous. If you haven't taken a look at our greens, we're known for our, our boxwood topiaries, but we also have wreaths and swags to hang on your door and cemetery boxes that you can bring out to the cemetery uh, to remember your loved ones. Um, this year we have kissing balls, which uh, take the place of mistletoe inside your house. In fact, I ordered one of those and we're going to hang one. I don't think my wife knows yet, but um, so um, I think tomorrow we'll talk about greens. And if you have any questions in the meantime, you can send them on in. You can post them on Facebook or you can send them to uh, orders at trinitynorthsituate.org. And we'll try to get those answered on the next Facebook Live. So thanks for coming and bye-bye.